Greetings out there in YouTube lands and the planet Earth. I know many of you don't know my story, right? But I've had over 30 concussions, right? Among a lot of being hit by forklifts and a lot of this stuff in my life happened, right? And a long time ago, I had some encounters with these that kind of walked away, is the best way to put it, right? And he's finally forgiven me for that. I earned my forgiveness, I guess, because he saw I was truly repentant in my heart. And he healed my over 30 concussions March 12th of what he was doing in my heart. So I don't, for the first time, I'm really me. So I'm still trying to figure out who I am because first one happened when I was in grade five. Come on, you know, cut me some slack. That's a, and that was a really bad one back then. So I haven't been me since grade five. That's a long time ago, people. Over five decades, okay? That's a long time. Half a century being different people with different interests, each of them, to being me. And then, so who am I? Because right? I got a really strange past. I say your past makes you present. Well, that I don't even think that applies in my case. But I don't think like a lot of other people do these days because I had Jesus' hand inside my head. So yeah, I'm a little bit different. I'm, a lot of stuff that he put in there, because I had stuff that all these other personalities of me, um, some of them not nice, different interests, different knowledges, different skill sets that they learned in there. A bunch of wasted knowledge. It's useless as far as I'm concerned. But a lot of other stuff. Think of it like a zip file extracting slowly here. And um, I was so frail and falling down. I think you lot that don't know. I was 12 years past due for the grave on March 9th. And Jesus healed me the 12th. So 12 years and three days past due for the grave. But I was falling down, walking with a cane. I was fellowshipping with the Lord tonight. He's one of the guys that saw the ambulance coming for me all the time here to take me to the hospital. Right? And uh, so is Craig, the former atheist I laid hand on. He is still loving on that man, and he hasn't even read the Bible yet. Because he took me at my word about what I said about Jesus. And he went and talked to Jesus like I told him to. And he's getting richly blessed all the time. His anger issues are all gone. He's not drinking anymore. The urge to drink is gone. The whole nine yards. Okay? But he sees my heart. He has held my heart in his hands, okay? Now, some of you people out there that have been healed, they just know what I'm talking about. Right? Some of the others just never get it. And he said to me that he was going to squeeze the pus out of my heart so that I would have a clean heart. Now, Jesus considers my heart clean. I feel all kinds of things that I never felt. So I was actually reborn, I guess, to be honest with you, on March 12th. But I had the, this nuclear bomb where the energy being so frail and falling down all the time i'd freeze frame my wife told me half hour 45 minutes an hour or two sometimes and then to start like he'd pause a, a video and hit play from the strokes i was having all that fixed he took my wife in june on the 26th okay healed march 12th he took my wife june so i got all this stuff coming and finally all that energy i, I was going over a week without sleeping right over you know and then I'd lay down for three, four hours and listen to the audio Bible, and then I'd get back up and do it again. And there's so much in there. I just may have been in this easy, and the one guy came over and was making me express it's probably the last thing I needed. You know? But here I sit, trying to understand a lot of what he put in there. And I, I, I'd asked him when I talked with him to not yell at me, just show me things that, you know, I need to know or whatever. Let me see what he wanted me to see so I could be a better servant. But I didn't want to be yelled at. I was getting yelled at by these false shepherds and these false Christians when I went and laid hands like the Holy Spirit told me to do. You know, so I went and did my own thing to help people get off drugs. And, and you know, some people died because, you know, the people wanted to go back on the drugs and they wouldn't. So it's just life, right? I messed up. I admitted it. I never said it was perfect. Yeah. I mean, Think about any of you out there, and you know what I'm telling you is gospel. It's written in the book. That no matter how hard I try, right, and no matter how hard any of you try, 
Our best works are as filthy rags before the Lord. When he's looking down, and there's not a righteous person on the planet. Um, I can't understand, and it really bothers me. This is the stuff that you have got. You just put it in my heart. And so many are, are sitting up there looking down at others and pointing fingers and all that, and, and they're being hypocrites because there's not a righteous person on the planet. And no matter what anybody has done, their best works are as filthy rags before the Lord. And we're supposed to uplift each other, but all they're doing is berating each other and putting each other down and bearing false witness and you name it, right? And I feel it, the pain. This has been really hard coming on me here. You just wanted me out of my comfort zone, and I, I wasn't understanding why, but I really didn't need to, but I'm understanding now. He wanted to show me these things. He had me in seclusion all these years, avoiding all these guys who are following. They're saying names. I don't have a clue who these people are. Saying this is a false that's I don't have an idea who they are. And that's the way Jesus wanted it. So I wouldn't be corrupted and, and I followed the wrong person and contaminated myself. They got a lot of people right now just traveling around spreading the love of Jesus and laying hands. And thanks to him because I'd asked to freely roam the earth, you know. I was so sick I didn't know if I was gonna be alive for a second a second. I said, you heal me. Can I just go and travel and see the things before they're gone? And he said yes. So sooner or later, after the 12th of March, I'm believing, sometime after, when he thinks that'll be a year, he may make me wait a year and a half, like Sergeant York, I don't know, or, or he may let me go. I'm going to be able to travel a little bit, and go lay a little hands, because I met some people on the other side I raid on that are ill. I got treated better by non-Christians, or people like Christian on their profile, definitely not from their pictures and the stuff they wrote really offended me, some of the stuff, but they've been reading some of the stuff I write, They've been watching some of the videos I put up from other people, not just my own, but mainly from other people. I very, put only very rarely from me. Because I write better stuff there, I think, personally. But that was for there. And God had me meet some believers on there. We just need a little up, you know, of the flames stoked a little bit, right? Politely, right? And that's what I've been doing for a couple of years. And I made some great friends that I can actually say are real friends. Not, and I got a bunch of acquaintances from that game thing, you know. The whole thing is, they're going to ask you to friend them, but when they do, they can see the stuff you write. Hey, and when they're seeing uh, stuff on my page, it's all about Jesus. I never really showed you guys my page, where I got all the stuff about Jesus on there. And a lot of it other people have done, of course, as you understand. Uh, they see how I roll, and I talk positively about Jesus and things he does. And a lot of them are thinking about Jesus. I'm casting seeds. Kind of like, uh, think of it like them bus and subway preachers, right? I just got a little bit bigger venue, but I'm not the only one there. There are other Christians there doing the same thing. The real ones plus the posers who've got very sordid images, even though it says Christian on their profile, but, you know, God had me there for a reason that I didn't really understand at first. And that was before I was healed. Now a lot of it is making sense, right? Things my wife told me before she died, all making sense right now. That Jesus is showing me more and more every day. And so I'm just asking some of you out there to just bear with me and stick with me, right? Because I got people spreading li libel, slander, lies, you name it, false witness, call it whatever you want against me. But my heart isn't like that, and my head isn't like that. It's not what goes into a person that defiles them, it's what comes out of their mouth. And maybe saying things that are not true. Because Jesus doesn't live in the heart of wickedness. Okay? So why would he bother fixing a heart of wickedness? It's the last thing he would touch. Well, he wouldn't want to defile himself with touching something wicked. And a lot of people seem to have forgotten that. Because I've had some people saying some bad things about me. And they just lost a few more subscribers. Because one person said a bad thing about me. That wasn't true. Okay? I've had it happen a couple of times. Okay? People say something that isn't true about me, and then I lose people. But Jesus always replaces them with others, right? But why would you lie about a walking miracle healed by God? I never said I was perfect. I never said I know it all. He's still showing me stuff every day, and I'm changing. So any of you that are subbed to me and, and want to leave, fine. Right? He's got a lot more to say. And when he tells me, say it, I will, right? That's just the way it goes, right? I'm changing on that flower being watered by Jesus. And he wouldn't have wasted his time on me. Right? 
if I had the wicked heart and did the, was half the as bad as the people say I am, he wouldn't have wasted a single second on me, and I wouldn't even be breathing right now. So Jesus had his reasons for healing me and wanted me to talk on here to build up my confidence to go on the road, I believe, right? I was thinking it's more to do live streams and all that, but it was just to build my confidence up so that I just go on the road. Because I wanted to go on the road where I can deal with real believers who actually want to get healed by Jesus. Because I lay hands for Jesus. That's one of my jobs, right? Yep, I got a job with Jesus laying hands. That's what I'm going to do. And I plan on doing uh, videos from all the different countries I go to, right? Different people I meet there. He's gonna, he has a way of leading me to people like he did in the past. He's gonna do it again, right? So I'm gonna see some different countries and run into believers all over the place. And there's a bunch of people who invite me already. And by the time I leave, I'll probably have more. Cause Jesus understands I'm just gonna go with the flow. Cause he knows better than I do. I'm just gonna go with it. Cause every day I'm understanding a little bit more. And when people hate on you after you're healed by Jesus, and they can't understand, even though they said it a few times themselves, that Jesus does not live in the heart of wickedness, and they say bad things about you after you're healed by Jesus. If that isn't hypocrite and Pharisees, I don't know what else is. But he's teaching me something new every day. And either you're going to stick with me for the ride and see where it leads, or not. Because it's called free will. But Jesus really did heal me. Whether some like me or not, it's a fact. And only an idiot would lie and do stupid bad stuff at all after being healed by Jesus because they know he's real. It's not guesswork like it is for many. Yeah, but Jesus healed my mind so I can't, I'm not thinking like a lot of people. He just cleaned my heart and told me I had a clean heart. So I'm definitely not feeling and wickedness is not coming out of my heart because Jesus held it in his hands. There's no way it can even exist there. So stick with me or not, the choice is yours. Bye-bye.